So today what I'm doing is I'm playing this game on a website called Wylands. This one is called Gym Islands. There's a lot of different variety of ones that are created by people who actually play games on the website. So I've played a couple and this is one of the ones that I kind of gravitated to along with other ones on that website. This one is basically a survival mode one. Um, it doesn't really save your, your progress in the game. But what it does do is if you die in the game, you will spawn wherever your bed is with the supplies that you have. It does have weather change from rain to storms, thunderstorms. Um, and if your character goes too high up on one of the mountains and it's cold up there, your character will let you know they're cold. As well, your character needs to eat. So there's things that your character can eat, which is wild berries carrots and all this uh, and uh, also corn and you will find other eatable stuff here there's also wild animals and some animals are nice some will run from you well, majority of the ones that are scared and that won't attack you they will run from you the other ones will run towards you if they're going to attack you and you get like a little notification that this particular one is going to attack you so i'm going to show you one of the ones that will attack you and I'm going to do my best to just try to run from it so it doesn't kill me. Now there is another um, thing on this island which is some gigantic looking walking bull creature half human half uh, bull that's in this particular area and I'll try to get as close as I can to it so you can see it and then I'll go from there but what I want to do first is collect stuff on the island so I can start building a bed and maybe build like a little small area so I can just sleep without being in the weather because if it's raining she is not going to sleep in the rain so let me get started in just showing you exactly um, what I'm doing here so um, time actually it will change from night to day so it look like the Sun is getting ready to go down so I want to collect some sticks that's in this corner so like I said I've been playing for a little bit of a while different uh, games on here and this is one of them and so I'm collecting sticks and grass grass can be used for rope so you can use the rope to help you build like weapons and stuff like that you see how it's gotten very dark I also need to get some rocks and I need to get some flint flint help you um, actually set like when you're building like a campfire it's for fire so I need to build like a campfire just so I can see she doesn't get cold if she's just sitting down here and see here's one of the animals you get real close to them they start running that's the one that won't attack you there's other ones that won't attack you as well but there there are some now the flints I learned I can see really good in the dark they're kind of more lighter color and I can get them and that's for me um, setting fire so now I'm gonna try my best to make a bed for her here's another flint so I'm just collecting rocks as I walk by the animals and pick up anything that I'm picking up along the way so I can use so that animal ran from me so he ran all the way over there and so I think over there it's like rabbits this is like a little rabbit over here you can't barely no that's a crab so there are crabs here now they won't attack you, you know, but you can attack them. Um, so you can attack them to make food, to cook stuff. So um, in this game, what you do is you press, I'm playing on the computer keyboard. So it will tell you basically, uh, let me go in here. If you go to go into this particular area that says codex, it's going to tell you all the things that you can do. Um, blueprints. I have some, but I haven't used those yet. So it tells you basically how to build, forward, and all the directions on the buttons. You can chat as well. And then your character also have emotes, you know, emotes to communicate with anyone, or you can just look at all the different choices of ones that you want to use. So right now what I'm going to do is actually build a bed for my character because I need to get some sleep. I need her to sleep so I can get to the next day because if I just stand here and not do anything it's going to take a little longer. So 
So I'm crafting rope. Now this is for storage. Like if you want to put like you have a lot of stuff on your character, you can create this particular wicker basket and then you can put items in there like rope, grass, whatever you want to put in there, seeds. Like I have like some seeds here. And you can grow, you can put the seeds on the ground to grow stuff. So this is the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and place that where I can just have somewhere for her to sleep. And then it will tell you on the right hand side exactly how to move things around, how to rotate it, you know, and you just follow those directions. And press escape to just leave that option. And so when you get there, it's going to give you an option to lay down. It's going to say you can either stand up, press your mouse, or sit down, So or either lay down. So I'm going to go ahead and before I have her go to sleep, I'm going to have her eat something because I think I, I didn't collect any berries. So I need to go and collect some so she can get some sleep. So here's some berries over here. Okay, so what I want her to do is really eat, so I'm going to press O, because on the norm, norm, number key, you go from 1 for her hand, she has nothing in there, you can wait, we're pressing on the left mouse, and then you scroll, so I'm using the scroll, I also have a shortcut on here on the mouse, so, but it makes so much noise, I'd rather just use the scroll, that way you guys won't hear all that clicking, clicking, clicking. So I'm going to have her go ahead and lay down and go to sleep. And then when you click on the sleep, it gives you an option of what time you want her to wake up your character. So I'm going to go ahead and go for morning. And by then she might be hungry. So I fed her so she's not hungry. But I'm going to go ahead and have her eat again anyway so I can get started on the day. So I'm going to see what else I can craft. So I can craft a knife. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that. It's very useful. And then I'm going to craft um, this X. This will help you with building other stuff. And so you press I. Well, I'm pressing I on the keypad. And then um, I got the X. So I'm going to leave that tree there. But I'm going to go and cut some other trees down. And then I'll show you um, some of the other wild animals and some of the ones that will attack you. Now, what I ran to ran into on this island actually before were some wolves. And then there was like a creature further up around back that area, like far over on the other side of the island. So you just let the tree fall. It won't go all the way. I haven't had it go all the way down, so I can I can definitely say that it doesn't go all the way down. I wonder if I can. Okay, so there we go. And so that clicking you hear is like my mouse. I don't think I have another way to make it quieter. So that's the only way to pick up the stuff. Um, I want to see if they have a shortcut for picking up things here. After I pick up all these here. So when you start collecting that, um, it gives you all these other things that you can create doors and then, you know, stuff that you can build with and decor. Um, and wicker basket, of course. And then, you know, if you want to uh, create a wall torch to put on your wall. And then remember I said, um, there's things that I can create for campfire and so this one is like a bonfire this is like a huge 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 one but I actually use this uh, as a way of kind of almost creating like a fort so I've learned that works 
Okay, so... I'm going to see if I can run into one of the wolves that are up here. You can kind of get an idea of there's one. Uh, how they see you can tell right there at the top, a little white. It lets you know that he's getting ready to attack me. And there's another one over there. Now she can roll, but she kind of get dizzy after a few rows. Now if I was closer, uh, it would have ran towards me. So now my character is letting me know that she's hungry. And so I'm going to go ahead and feed her, but she doesn't have any other food on her. So what you can do, you can do two things. You can collect the berries, or you can just go ahead and just start, you know, taking some of the animals out. It will allow you to do that, <laughs> to kill them, but they run just like any other animal would run. And then you get, like, me. also... Uh, some fabric wool. Let me see if it is a fabric that you get. No, it says goat ride. So that's what it's called. And then it gives you an option in this little area. Once you click on it, what you can kind of look at it. Now, some items will tell you what you can do with it, what you can make with it. Um, let's see here. There's, I'm trying to see. I don't have one now. But there's some things that will tell you. Oh, basically. Um, the seeds. Like if you have seeds, it will tell you basically where to plant them. You can plant them in the ground and stuff like that. So because she's hungry and I don't have an area for her to do a campfire because of course it's raining. Uh, the fire is not going to stay up. So I'm going to go ahead and find like a flat surface because this is not flat enough for me. So I need an area where I can actually build this house and this is just not the area for me. Now if you hold a mouse long enough, you should do like this, your character would do like this super swing. But I don't know if it has any. I've never did it with the tree. But I wonder if it, it's going to do really. So the tree is getting ready to fall. I don't know which direction. So we're going to see if I do a super swing on it. I don't know what that's called actually. Like I said, I'm new to the game. And so what I'm trying to do is not have so much noise with you guys hearing me clicking so much. How many wax it takes. We're on three, now we're on four. Five now. Okay, it takes I think about what six. Now you have to hear that clinking because I have to pick them up. So I'm gonna go and find an area that has like a really flat surface. And uh, I want to get close to where this this other character is in the game, and that way you can get kind of idea. So we're gonna go to a different area on the map. Um, that's way different than this area here. So I'm just gonna be picking up grass on my way there because I can actually turn the grass into rope to use it to um, make things, and I'm picking up sticks as well. Okay, I ran into that one. Now, there is bears as well in this game, too. They're on the other side of that mountain. Um, I don't know if I'll run into any, depending on what I'm doing. But I want to show you this other one. This other character. Um, what I also learned with the shells that are on the ground, if you swing the axe, it will, well, not that one, it will give you, like, color elements. And so you'll be able to kind of like paint. So it's like red frag fragment. You'll be able to paint. And once you create like a paint gun, there's supposed to be a gun you can create. So you just swing at them. 
and then these colors will come out and be able to pick them up. Okay, okay, I didn't want to pick up that shell. So, so let me get to the other side where I can find a flat surface. This plant I thought did something special. Um, no, it just turns into grass and a stick. Okay. Now, normally me, I just go ahead and pick like the fruit. Um, and then this is clay. Clay, you can use it for different things. You also make a special um, tool to dig up the clay. So this area is clay. Anything that's like a color gray here is clay for you to build with, make pottery. So now when I go to craft and then I go to all, I have all this pottery that I can make. And the pottery is just for decoration and then I can make this particular uh, item for making stuff. So I can make all kind of items for um, creating and being able to create more stuff and so I can create this furnace I can create you know all kind of different things to um, make stuff decor for when I'm after I start building you know spoons uh, spikes all kind of stuff just different things so the more stuff that you collect the more it's gonna let you automatically know what you can make now with the flowers I have never really figured out maybe if I swing at them maybe I'll get some color or something no, it's just give me seed and grass so that's what they actually give so that's good to know so let me go over to this area I learned um, as well when you collect corn uh, I'm hoping that it comes up let me get this flint um, you can make like a, a gun, like a corn gun. You also can make popcorn over the campfire. So when you get to the campfire, it's, you know, once you, after you finish building it, it's going to give you an option to make popcorn. So I found that to be really fun and creative way. So let me see. I'm sorry. And then I can see that I can make like different clothing skirt for her. That's cool. I might make that for her. Let's see. Um, what is this? Oh, that's a rug. Okay. Shoes. Headdress. What is this? Oh, a mask. Okay. See, I haven't seen that yet. Candle. Okay, so I don't see the gun yet. Let's see here. There's normally what is this here? Oh, that's for yard. Okay. Okay, so normally um, the gun will pop up and give me an option to do that. So I must be missing something. I'm gonna go over here or maybe I need rope I've been collecting grass I keep forgetting that you um, need to turn the grass into rope also in order to see what other stuff you can make if you don't do that it's not gonna show you so see there is you can't really see them I'm gonna press C and see but there's something like right there it's really huge so what I'm gonna do is when I go up there I'm gonna go this way and make like a, 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 a bonfire and kind of make like a make it look like a fort so that he can't see me I figured that out sorry I figured that out so let me make some rope and it gives you an option to count and um, I learned with him um, the best way to fight him is from a distance and probably with a gun because he will kill me. I've died to him twice, so I know. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, since it's not raining, I'm going to...
gonna go ahead and just create a bonfire. Not bonfire, I mean a campfire. Bonfire is the one I want to use for. Um, let me put this somewhere because I need to see. And then uh, I keep pressing the wrong button. And then see, I need to also do this flint. This flint is to light the fire. And so now I can go back to my inventory and put this here. And then press 4 and go over to the bonfire and light it. So I can see. I can also, uh, I wonder if I can make a stand-up torch. And here it just gives you like a breakdown of what food you can make. It'll, once you have all the supplies, and it will tell you what you need to make that, you know, all the stuff you need to make it only have, um, let's see. There's the popcorn. So what I can do is to make the popcorn, what I do is go over here, interact with it. It gives me options of things I can cook. So I'm going to go do the popcorn. Craft. Craft on the fruit and the veggies. I don't know what that is. Oh, french fries. Okay, because I have potatoes. So now I'm gonna see if I can make a bed. Go to furniture. Yeah. Cause she's actually not hungry right now. But she will probably be hungry in the morning. So I'll give the option to go wake her up in the morning. So now she's hungry. So now I can go to the bonfire where I put all the stuff at, and she can start eating. So she's eating her roasted vegetables first. Then I go into the inventory and I need to pull this down. You can pull it anywhere you want to. But it will automatically put anything that you're, what I understand from last collecting or picking up, in, uh, that particular one. So then I'm going to scroll over to the other one, which is nine, and that's where she has the popcorn in her hand. She's going to eat that, okay? So now I'm going to try to go up here without getting killed. Let me get her at her axe that she has. The best thing to do once this thing sees me is to run. Um, if I had the gun. He wouldn't been a, he would run himself because I've shot at him a couple of times and he took off a rent. So I want to try to see if I can show you what I'm gonna try to be trying to get or kill. Oh lord, he's right there. Time to go. Time to go. I'm just gonna roll on down. Ah, lord. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just jump. I have no idea if he's behind me or not. I'm just running. I didn't know he was up there. I thought he was on the other other side. Is he back there? No, he went back up the hill. I'm so sorry I screamed. Okay, where did he go? I think that's him standing right there, yeah. So you press C on your keypad and do like a little zoom, but not much. To allow you to focus on the area you're trying to look at. Yeah, you had a chance to, you got a chance to see him. Lord, I did not expect him to be right there. So let me clean this up as the fire. Okay, so I came over here because I actually want to uh, put my house on a flat surface. And um, I couldn't get, I couldn't show you from a distance found me I'm a little it lets you know you can tell when something that's uh, going to attack you because you get those little let's see. This up. Okay. little notification that they're going to attack you right then and there wait is he right there wait a minute 
that? What is that? I don't think, I think that's grass. Is that a plant? Yeah, that's a plant. That's not him. Okay, so he's up the hill. I can see him. See that little dot right there? That's him. So that means I have to go over here to get him because he's staying right there. Okay, so let me start building. This is flat enough to me. Now they do have an item in here called the flattener. I haven't gotten that one yet, so... I haven't crafted. It's not gotten it. I haven't crafted. So... Let's see. Put these down here. So I'm just gonna make something really small, you know. Normally I make it a little bit larger, but I'm just going to go ahead and make something really small. So I won't have you bored looking at what I'm doing for a long period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and just make something really small. Because normally I'll make it more bigger than this. No, no, no. I didn't expect him to, to be right there. Okay, hold on, let me get over here. And it'll automatically lay down for you. Go. And then I turn this around. But I normally make mine really bigger than this. Now, she won't sleep unless I have somewhere for her to sleep. I mean, under the... She won't sleep in the rain, meaning. Now, she'll sleep outdoors. But she will not sleep in the rain. So, I just want to make this really fast. some more wood so I can know um just is there a tree closer I'm walking running oh no I don't want to go that way that's why I went this particular way Now, if you want these shorter, after you collect all of them, you can make them shorter. Just go into your inventory, into crafting. What I normally do is all. But let's say if you just want to craft something you just made, you can go to recently craft. But what I do is I just go to all so I can get like a breakdown of what I can make. And it'll have an option for them to be a little bit smaller or a little bit taller. So it, it gives you an option. There is the popcorn, uh, the, not the popcorn gun. The corn gun is called pump action corn gun. So we're going to craft that. That's for that character up there.
Okay, I want to see where to place the door. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know, I just like that one better. So, got the door. Exit. Ooh. Well, <laughs> it's working. Uh, I don't feel like taking it apart, though. That means I would have to. Let me just go ahead and do that. It's okay. No, I don't want to take the floor down. Yeah, just these two. Alright. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so we just tuck that down. Yeah, it was just too white. So let me finish putting these down. Okay. Let me go slow. Okay, so now it does an automatic lease. And putting them down for you. Alright. Move out the way. Oh, Lord. I gotta jump back up here. Escape. Alrighty. I had to reselect it, so I had to get off of it and reselect it. Like I said, I'm playing this very new, so it's probably a more, much easier way to do things. Let me just go ahead and just stay off of there. Alright. Okay, so let me get my eggs and go get some more wood. You can see that the left hand side of her heart, once she kind of like lay down or take a breather, she'll start feeling like a little bit, well let me get out the way. actually like animals in games. I actually tend to, I don't like to kill them, but unless my character has no option. I prefer to just eat berries or potatoes. This one gives you an option. You can kill the wild animals or you can just eat what's on the land. And so for me, I prefer to eat what's on the land. Okay, so I tried to pick that up when I was running. That's why I said failed. I missed it. Okay, so let me put this here, seven. Go, no, no, no. Doing it wrong. There we go. So it's getting ready to get dark. I can't see. But luckily this thing has an automatic thing, so once you put one, it will automatically put it there for you. Get up there. Let me go up here. Let's see if it'll go ahead and do it. There. There. Now, I, oh lord. Just press 1 to get it out of your hand. And press 2 to knock this bed down. Because it doesn't give me an option to pick it up. So I have to destroy it. So, it's not raining, but I'm gonna, oh, I don't need to open that. I'm just gonna go ahead and press 7 so I can put a roof up here. So, that'll work for me. Back up. Uh, 
Okay, I did it. And so, because I don't have any space, I'd normally turn mines. And, let me see. Go over here. Now, it's like a little space, but that'll do for her. That'll do just fine. So let's get the bed, if I can make one right now, I'm not really sure. This is also a sleeping, like a grass sleeping. That's if you're sleeping on the grass. Um, so I'm not sleeping on the grass, but if you're outdoors, it gives you two options to sleep on things. So let me turn this around a little bit. Where I'm standing at, I need to get out the way. Shame. So now I'm ready to go to bed. So I notice if your character get hungry, they'll start having like this hazy blackout a little bit. And they won't pass out, but they will start looking like they're going to from the visual. Let me open the door. So I just needed somewhere for her to sleep so she wouldn't be in the rain. And remember I said you can make like, you know, that one's crooked. But it's okay. <laughs> you can make like a um, smaller size for building on the house. Okay. So I'm going to end the game here. I am going to play it again and upload some more gameplay of me playing it with the mic. And that way you get an option to, like, an opportunity to hear me talk and explain different things. Normally I don't play my games with the mic on. I normally, like, just play it with it off. So I'm trying to try to do something new. So you have a blessed day. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye-bye.